Hello, hello, assalamualaikum and a very good evening, guys. Welcome to another live at home live stream in collaboration with Job Street Malaysia. How is everyone feeling tonight? Has it been a good day? Was it better? Was it so so? Do let me know in the comment or chat room box, okay? Because we want to know and we want to get some engagement happening right here, right now. We want to make sure that the energy is up because, you know, I'll be speaking to someone really, really special. And like the other dialogues or little chit chats that I have um, in my sessions with Job Street Malaysia, it's always a little bit mm, on a bit of a gloomy side. There's some positivity in it, but this time around, guys, you definitely want to hear what the person has to say especially especially if you're looking for a career change or if you've lost a job and looking for a job right now okay guys we all know that the COVID-19 pandemic disrupted labor markets globally during 2020 there was of course short-term consequences was which were really really sudden and quite severe but while most companies face hardship during the pandemic Top Glove, on the other hand, was quite the opposite. They recently recorded their highest ever quarterly sales revenue of, get this, 5.37 billion ringgit, which is a 336% surge from their second quarter in 2020, with profit after tax of close to 2 Point nine billion ringgit. I think they deserve a clap, la papa. I don't know why you don't do the applause all. Where's the applause, clapping, clapping all? I think they want deserve. Yes, this one really, really. They say ah, uh, with every cloud comes a silver lining. Top glove, butter, butter, silver, gold, every diamond they also all ada. So with that being said, they currently have nine thousand job openings as well as internship programs. And tonight. I'm so, so delighted to have the head of recruitment for Group Human Resource of Top Glove, Miss Andrea Chum, to share more about the job opportunities as well as the skills and expertise required for the spots available at Top Glove Malaysia. Hi, Andrea, how are you? Hi, Daphne. Thank you for having me and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us at 8 p.m. on a, is it Tuesday or Wednesday? I'm, I'm losing track of days, you know, working from home. Although everyone seems to be easing back into the office. Um, I, I'm, I'm guessing that you're back in the office now that it's uh, no longer CMC. I mean, no, CMC or RMB. I cannot keep track already. La. You're back in the office already? Yeah, we are back in the office. Okay, yeah. okay great. Now, of course, I had to stalk you. And I read that you have a Master of Arts Communication from Swinburne University of Technology. But now you're, of course, heading the recruitment for Top Glove. It's a slight departure, I must say, from what you studied. What brought you to Human Resource and Top Glove in particular? Oh, okay. Well, that's a good question. And I get <laughs> asked pretty often for that. Well, I've, uh, for communications, I find it is a simple art of transferring information from one place to another or to one person to another for a group to another. Yep. So having good communication skills is very important in all aspects of our life. That's true. From one professional life to everything that falls in between. So from a business standpoint, all transactions results from communication. So good communication are essential to allow others and yourself to understand information more accurately and mm -hmm. quickly. That's true. So I believe that communicating well can attract job seekers to apply a job with us. Okay. And why top glove? Oh, why top glove? Um, well, it's just uh, by accident. <laughs> okay. Somebody called me and I joined top glove. Yeah. So I think it's fated in a way. Ah, so you were sort of uh, recruited la, in that sense, like you were <laughs> headhunted, I guess. In a way, la, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so while most industries like retail, leisure, hospitality, they were all facing a downturn, all faced severe casualties, Top Glove, as I mentioned earlier on, did extremely well. And I understand that the company is aiming to be in the Fortune Global 500 company list by 2030. By the rate that you guys are going, I think you guys will definitely hit that goal. I mean, what are your objectives? I mean, what, what is the, the, the roadmap for Top Glove right now? Roadmap to Top Glove right now? Well, mm -hmm. we are actively hiring. Right. And uh, on the uh, 22nd of January, 2021, Top Glove has announced a year-long recruitment drive, okay. which will provide employment to over 9,000 Malaysians. 
okay. as the company will continue to expand and ensure that it's well positioned to meet increased global demand for glove and other protective equipment. And accordingly, Top Glove has organized many virtual career fairs purpose to fill positions across all levels in its offices and factories in Malaysia. Okay. Additionally, we are also tapping into Panjana KPT CAP ah. Career Advancement Program CAP to reduce uh, to help to reduce the rate of unemployment of graduates in Malaysia. Okay. Next is Top Glove is also actively hiring for technical and vocational education and training, which we call them TVETs. Okay. So why are we focused in hiring TVET students? It is because Top Glove aims to provide employment to fresh university, vocational and polytechnics graduates and general workers in the country. So these skilled employees are much sought in line with our exploration towards IR 4.0. Okay. Yeah, so we recognize that our employees are the fundamental to our success with their continuous dedication and contribution and effort in sh shaping the brand as it is today. So Top Glove is proud to be the employer of choice to 21,000 employees mm -hmm. from diverse backgrounds and to upkeep and diversify, uh, diversify our people, which consists of experience and fresh graduates. Oh, okay. So, uh, the, yeah, that, that's why I was also reading somewhere that you also have like internship programs, you have internship these industrial program. training, you've got management yeah. associate programs. It's, it's, is it similar or is it different programs altogether? Uh, what are your requirements to apply for these particular programs? Oh, okay. For internship, yes, we have internship. Yeah. Um, I will start with internship program. Yes, please. The requirement for our internship program is that students need to have a diploma or a degree from any higher learning institution or reputable university. Okay. Besides that, uh, on-the-job training will be provided in real-life working environments. Mm -hmm. Interns will have the opportunity to be converted to a permanent employee upon completion of their studies. Okay. So students will also need to be active in their core curriculum activities okay. and also have non-academic uh, achievements. So for their CGPA, we require at least 3.0 in any discipline mm -hmm. and uh, a minimum internship of uh, duration of three months. So the advantages of joining um, Top Glove Internship Program include uh, the vast learning and development opportunities, attractive allowances, and we also have the availability of uh, hostel accommodation oh, and also okay. free access to our company gymnasium. Okay, and next I will move to um, explain about our management associate program, which right. we call it TG Map. So this TG Map, it is a three-year fast track program mm -hmm. to develop ambitious and exceptional young talents into top love future leader. The requirement for TG Map is uh, a minimum bachelor degree and CGPA of 3.2 or equivalent. Mm -hmm. uh, fresh graduate uh, or with less than two working uh, two years of working experience. Ah, okay. Experience in at least two significant uh, leadership roles. Grade A for recognized English and mathematic test, mm -hmm. and excellent communication skills. So the benefit of joining our Management Associate Program, TGMAP, is you will be exposed to job rotations within the department yeah. and on the job trainings. Besides that, they will also be assigned to work on meaningful projects together with the senior managers. Coaching and mentoring session will be provided to you as well. So our ultimate goal is to groom you to be the assistant manager in three years' time, depending on your performance. Okay, so we've spoken about the internship program. Of course, we've got management association or better known as TG Mat. TG Mat. Uh, yeah. You also have industrial training, right? If I read correctly, betul tak? Yes, yes betul. Okay, what what is that? And 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 uh, yeah. What exactly is that training for? 
Is it more for the uh, manufacturing side or macam mana tu? It's it's uh, it's internship. It's the same. It's ah, the it's the same program. internship. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So internship and in industrial training will be the same lah. For internship, yeah. do they get allowance or you know? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's been too lama already since my last internship. <laughs> Those days, like sometimes they get paid. <laughs> sometimes got payment. Sometimes start the payment. So I don't know how it is. What it is now? Other, you know, other. Oh, yes, other. Okay, yes, so there is yes. some form of allowance, and it's great that you also um, provide uh, some form of accommodation and stuff like that, lah. Yes. Now, now, I think some some might not know the reason behind that rotating of the management associates. Um, I think it's a very good um, practice because you you know I mean at least in my case, lah. When I go in. I don't exactly know what I am interested in, or I have this feeling like, okay, I think I want to go into HR. Tengo, tengo. I prefer th- something that is more hands-on. So this rotation actually allows the person to get a feel of all the departments to see which one's a better fit. So is that one of the reasons why uh, most companies, most corporates, do this to do the yeah. rotation, or yes. what? What is the purpose behind it? Okay, uh, the rotation is to ensure that the candidate has got a holistic exposure nice. in multiple functions of the um, uh, of the studies uh, of the uh, field that they are going for. For ah. example, like if it's a HR TG map, HR management associate, so right. they will be exposed to different functions within the uh, HR itself, like recruitment. Or yep. in um, say uh, compensation and benefit, and then industrial relations, and also it's also exposure to the company operations. So they get hands on to projects uh, related to the company operations. And I think it's very important for uh, if you're going to be an employer for uh, an employee for the company, you should know the company inside out because you are basically representing the brand you're like a walking ambassador so if you don't know much about your company then macam susah sikit lah kan yeah. um, do they manage I'm sorry now I'm as if lah I'm going to apply kan mana tahu kan um, <laughs> do they do these management associates do they get to choose um, where they would be a better fit or somehow human resource will sort of like gauge and then they go okay they're they, I don't know how it works with you guys um, I've never actually worked in a corporate company before but how do you gauge which would be a better fit for them? Is it because of their 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 passion in it, or is something that you will see how they best perform when they do their rotation? I'm always curious to know about that. Maybe I watch too much um, Hollywood movies, but yes. So basically, they will apply for the job in accordance to uh, the field that they study. Ah. So if it's HR, so I'll, I'll bring you back to HR. So okay. if the person studies um, Bachelor of Human Resource, so they can apply. For human resource management associate program. So mm. in this, in this, if they are shortlisted and join us as a management associate, we call them MA. Then they will be given a schedule on where they will be rotated. Mm. Mm. Out of so curiosity, usually there yeah. will be five track. Uh, usually there will be five tracks. Okay. Uh, uh, in within our company, so HR was one of the example I shared with you. Yeah. Another one would be in marketing, would be in um, R and D, and engineering and finance. Out of curiosity, even management, uh, let, let's say because you guys are of course senior management and stuff like that. Do do you guys have to go through that too, or uh, is it just um, those <laughs> who are applying and, and associates? Because it'd be also good for them to, I mean, for everyone to sort of get a feel or it's just for those uh, executives yeah it's it's different because this program is tailored for um those fresh young like i've shared mm. just now fresh graduate or less yeah, than two years I experience guess so. right yeah. right right and then i guess yeah like when you're already there you've got experience exposure you've got no time to <laughs> to sort of dwell on just one and you just have to get straight to it um just going back track again so earlier on uh you mentioned the fact that there is um roles for how do I pronounce it? T vets, is it? Yeah, T vets. The yeah, polytechnics. Yeah. The polytechnics. Um what are the other job seeking roles, you know, th- what are the roles that job seekers can look for? I mean specifically. Uh, and you mean referring to T vets, is it? Mm. Um T vets will be skilled uh skilled employment. So there will be like um 
packing and uh, those that is related to manufacturing, technicians. Okay. Yeah. Do they need any specific skills or expertise? Yeah, um, so they have um, the certification. So usually those that we require from Polytechnic, they will have um, um, the certification such as SKM2, SKM3. So it's, it, uh, the jobs will be in accordance to their certification. So usually, uh, just to share, yeah. the uh, jobs that we have for TVET will be for production executive and um, those that is in the manufacturing, the operations. And all these openings are just based in Malaysia or ada juga dekat luar negara ke macam mana? Kebanyakan ialah di Malaysia. Okay. Oh, wow. So there is an opportunity if anyone is interested to seek outside or the the country. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yes. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. So let's say someone from Sabah is interested in Vietnam. They want to go to Vietnam. Would you be in charge of that also or, or would Top Glove... Or oh, it's a bigger, like a regional thing. How, how does it work? Yeah, we have our presence in Vietnam, Thailand, and wow. also we have presence in China. And we are already sending our uh, our current uh, our engineers to Vietnam. Wow, wow! Exciting times indeed, isn't it? Yeah. Now it's called Top Glove, Top Glove for a reason because you guys are like the top manufacturers for gloves. But you don't just manufacture gloves, right? Let's just set the record straight here. What else do you guys do? Oh, okay. We uh, we have many, uh, just just a while, yeah? I'm just looking at uh, my notes here. No because, problem. More because mantan. Because definitely I'm new. <laughs> You're new, you don't sound new. I mean, not saying that you sound old. Oh my God, I shouldn't have said that. It's 8pm, sorry, too many kids, but yes. Okay, so yeah, go ahead, look, for your, yeah. look at your notes. Uh, it's it's okay. not just gloves. Yes. Yes, not just gloves. Uh, while gloves are still our main product, right. Top Glove has expanded its product range to include face masks, exercise band, dental dams, condoms, and other personal care items like okay. hand sanitizer, hair shampoo, and we also produce... Um, oh, shampoo also? Why? I yes, didn't know that. shampoo. And we also produce home care products like mm. um, dishwashing liquid and floor, clean, uh, floor cleaners. So you may visit our website. Okay, it's https okay. www.topglove.com slash topglove dash products. Yes. <laughs> there so you go. You'll be able to find those products. Basically, go to Mr. Google, look for Top Glove, and then you can find all the information there if you'd like to find out a little bit more. Now, I mentioned earlier on how um, Top Glove is the world's largest manufacturer of rubber and surgical gloves. And oh, you guys... hold, hold on, Daphne. Huh, I yes. just want to add to that. Yes. Uh, our products are also available for purchase at oh. our e-commerce website, which is www.tgebuy.com, as well as Lazada and Shopee. So do follow us on Facebook at Top Glove Products to stand a chance to win products and enjoy exclusive promotions. Well, there you go. So if you're <laughs> looking for genuine, because I know there was um, some news that made uh, uh, headlines way back then when they were also selling fake gloves. So make sure it's the real deal, guys. Um, oh, again, yeah. as mentioned by Andrea <laughs> earlier on, they are having e-commerce sites also, including Lazada as well as Shopee. So uh, be sure to check them out. Um, I'm quite sure now uh, there's enough supply. I remember a time when everything was just going, you know, everything was depleting because we all needed all these gloves and masks. Everyone yeah. went on pandemic buying, you know, panic buying and stuff like that. I remember designers here in Malaysia started to sew PPE equipment because they wanted to try and help out our frontliners. So it's great that you guys are back on track because whilst it's great that, you know, um, business is booming, uh, which is coming to my next point, um, it was also terrifying that there was this lack of supply. And... Um, which comes to my next question. I'm sure even though you guys were doing so well financially, the, the, the demand was so high. Uh, I'm sure the company too faced some challenges during the pandemic. Am I, am I wrong to assume this? And if so, what were some of the challenges? Because it's not exactly frontliner, but it, it is frontliner equipment and necessities in that sense. 
So you did have to continue working or didn't you have to? I mean, how, how was it? It must have been bizarre. I know you weren't there. I'm not sure if you were there during that, half, that time. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Okay, so what, what did you know of uh, from, from what you've heard from your colleagues? All right. I know that um, Top Love, uh, we had our fair share of difficult moments last year, mm -hmm. but we are pleased to report that Top Love has been able to overcome these challenges thanks to the effort uh, of the, all the commitment uh, of the committed Top Love team and mm -hmm. the strong leadership from management. Top Love believes in improving the well-being of its workers, which is why it has earmarked uh, about 100 million to improve the living conditions of its workers as discussed by our managing director Datuk Lee during our recent Top Glove Cares campaign mm -hmm. and uh, on our social media pages. So you may follow along and learn about Top Glove on our social media pages uh, on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and YouTube. And it goes hand in hand with what I found over your website also. you guys at Top Glove, you believe in working smart, playing hard, staying fit and living healthily. So it's not just about all work, but it's yeah. a holistic lifestyle. Uh, am I correct to say that? Yes, correct. Top Glove, um, we, we have had a long tradition mm -hmm. of being a very healthy oriented uh, company. And the company is a frequent recipient of AIA Vitality Awards. Oh. And also our chairman, Tan Sri Dr. Lim, often shares his philosophy on the five healthy wells, which is clean well, eat well, work well, exercise well, and sleep well. So to enhance the well-being of our employees, Top Glove pro uh, provides equipped with a gym and nutritionist consultative service to all our employees as well. Uh, our chairman believes in a holistic maintenance of three helps, which is physical, mm -hmm. mental, and financial, to produce a well-balanced individual capable of contributing to their families, company, country, and even the world. That's really nice to know because I've I've been in touch with um, you know big factories, big manufacturers out there, and it's often all about slogging off the workers. And you see all these documentaries where it's uh, less than you know lovely con working conditions. But I'm really pleased to hear that Top Glove is all about wellness also, because at the end of the day, I mean, if your workers are not well or not healthy in body, mind and soul, they're not going to give you their best and then it's going to be lower productivity, don't you agree, right? Yeah. Um, so it's great, uh, clean, uh, sorry, to have, uh, to eat well, to work well, exercise, sleep. Yeah. I think that's, that's something that a lot of people forget, you know. Five um, wells. Yeah, five, five wells, that's right. What was the first five one? Wells. The first clean one was, well. ah, clean well. So we start yeah. with clean well yeah. and then we eat well Mm -hmm. and then we work well, and then we exercise well, and then we sleep well. And that's something that I wanted to point out, which I really like the fact that you guys also stress on sleeping well, because in this day and age where it's so fast paced and everyone is, you know, a go, you know on the go get, uh, they sort of make sleeping like if you don't sleep much, it's like, wow, you're very successful. Wow, so gang, you know. <laughs> but the hell is not, you know. You really need your sleep. And I think this is something that I'm yeah. really, uh, I love the fact that Top Glove stresses on this because it's not just about always, you know, being on your feet and trying to not sleep as much and trying to have this record breaking about, oh, I only had three hours sleep, yada, yada, yada. So uh, I, I need eight hours sleep. And that's Absolutely. good. And that's yeah. healthy. I think there's nothing unhealthy about that. Okay, we have a question since we did speak about the internship program. This is a question from one of our uh, chat rooms in Zoomra eh? from Tur Gadevi. Any tips for student who wants to apply for the internship program? Okay. Any tips for students? Um, 
apply, um, go to our uh, career page, Top Glove Career page, mm-hmm. and apply, uh, and also go to jobstreet.com to apply, and we'll pick up your resume from there. The tips is just be yourself, um, attend the interview, uh, and usually we do a lot of virtual interviews, so just be yourself, be natural, share about uh, your, the, the, the skills that you have, the strengths that you have, and um, things that you can contribute to Top Bluff. How like can you value add to Top Bluff? Yeah. That's good because at the end of the day, how are you going to be picking from all your candidates? You would be also and how you be, how the candidate will be able to contribute back to the company, right? This is from Anonymous. How can I apply for the management trainee program? I presume it's also the same uh, method of applying through either Job Street or your yes. career yes. page, right? Yeah, right? go to Job Street and go to uh, uh, Top Glove Career page mm-hmm. and you can apply, drop in your resume from there and we will shortlist you in accordance to the requirements that I've shared mm-hmm. and we'll call you up for an interview. All right, Noor Shafika asks, what are the requirements to apply for your R&D department? I am a fresh graduate in Applied Physics. Oh, R&D department, Applied Physics. Mm-hmm. Ah, this one, I need to put some thoughts into it. Um, chemical, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. And, uh, and just in case we miss out any questions, please continue to ask away because we have our team from Job Street Malaysia as well as Top Glove who are uh, probably in the chat room also just trying to ensure that they are able to answer all your questions too, okay? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let me see. Um, okay. Hell's... Hi, Zavaria. I hope I pronounced that correctly. What are some tips to new students who are interested in marketing role in Top Glove? So this is for the marketing glove, uh, marketing uh, role in Top Glove. Student, is it? Yeah. Uh, is it referring student. to students? Yeah, she's a, she's a student, a new student. Uh, okay. Fresh graduate, I assume, yeah. Oh, okay. So um, depending on the field of studies, uh, so what have you studied? If you studied in... Uh, Marketing will be good uh, mm-hmm. if you have studied in business. How can your faculty of uh, the, the the studies that uh, sorry the faculty that you have studied contribute with the experience that you, you have gained? How can you contribute to the job that you are applying to? Okay, great. Um, we've got more questions here, but I'm just gonna uh, uh, sort of flow nicely when I ask you this. You, you mentioned earlier on that you're quite new with Top Glove, you were in another yes. company, another corporate job, but also in human resource, correct? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, so uh, what's the best thing about working with the company so far, now that you've, you've been there for a few months or so? Okay, let me, uh, let me share with, uh, with you tonight on this. So I've just joined Top Glove for two months, and the company exhibits a really unique and health-oriented culture which I've not seen in any company that I've previously worked with. Okay. So I want to take this opportunity to thank my HR team and definitely my recruitment team. Hi team. Thank you team. <laughs> <laughs> and definitely also the management for their unwavering support and guidance, which has enabled me to adapt quickly in a fast paced, dynamic and healthy environment. Just the other day, I was talking to one of our new joiners. She also mentioned that within the first two weeks she was here, she was able to learn many of our processes and had adapted well to our fast-paced environment at Top Bluff. She also mentioned that there was a clear-cut goal for her to work towards and it has allowed her to align towards the company direction. Um, that's great because someone actually asked uh, what is the working culture in Top Glove. Mm-hmm. So you sort of summarized how you feel about what some of the benefits or what are some of the uh, great stuff about the working culture in Top Glove. How about benefits? Someone actually asked about what are some of the other added benefits. You've got your, uh, um, of course, the remuneration, remuneration, remuneration. Um, yeah. you've also got the gymna- gymnasium, gymnasium, you've got nutri- yeah. nutritious, uh, nutrition also on board, uh, nutri- yes. nutritionists on board also. Nutrition, but what are some yeah. of the other benefits that uh, an employee would benefit from with being under Top Love? Um, benefits, okay. Let me, let me. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or you can um, ask your team who's next. Yes, to my team is very supportive. They're supporting me at 8 p.m. tonight. Oh, bless you so, guys. I think uh, I would. I'm glad to. I think I would like to share that one of the main benefit that they can gain in top love is mm-hmm. definitely the exposure. Okay. You know? uh, because we have a lot of projects and we have a lot of uh, um, career development to develop these people as well. Okay, so I hope that sort of answers your questions, uh, someone who asked about the benefits. Um, there's another question from Abdullah. He says, does Top Glove recruit international students mm-hmm. who have studied in Malaysian universities? International students that but have studied in, in Malaysia? In local, local universities. Oh, in local universities. Yes, yes, we do. Yeah? All right, yeah. so Abdullah, so yes, do apply if you are an international student uh, who's studying in our local U. We've yes, got Surindan who asks, will Top Glove prioritize those who have lost their jobs during the pandemic? Wow. All, all <laughs> people are, have equal opportunity. So Wonderful. apply with us, we will give equal opportunity to people that has, so to, to our applicants. All right, we've got Aizuddin here. Wow, you're like hot, hot. A lot of questions here. I've not even completed my set of questions, but we've got all these questions from our uh, audience. Aizuddin asks, Andrea, which would be more likely to be chosen for an entry-level engineering job? A diploma holder with five years of working experience or a bachelor degree holder with two years of not on, but not on field experience? So... One is a diploma holder, one is bachelor holder, but the diploma holder has five years of working experience, whereas the bachelor degree holder, which is a higher certification in that sense, just has two years of not on the field experience. Wow, that's a tough one. That gets a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Because it's qualification versus experience. It's it's neither both because we have a lot of jobs. Remember how many jobs did we share? Sambila Ribu, you all. Yes. Ah. So whether you're five years, three years, fresh graduate, please apply the job with us. We welcome applicants. And again, how do they apply? Regardless if they want to go for the internship program, management or uh, associate program, or any other openings that they have in Top Love, what do they need to do? Go to topglove.com. We have a career um, uh, page so mm-hmm. can apply towards that or jobstreet.com all our jobs are listed in job streets in terms of resume I, I, I always ask my guests this who are in in looking for job seekers or, or trying to recruit people to come on board in their corporate job in their in the company um, what are your tips on resumes or dressing the part or basic tips on those who are applying for a job like this, like a no-brainer, but something that some people sen- tend to forget. Okay, for me, I feel that um, in terms of resume, you have to be very clear. Uh, nowadays, I notice that a lot of students or a lot of applicants like to put a lot of pictures. So try to minimize the pictures. Try to make it very clear on currently what are you doing, your current most present experience followed by the previous working experience Mm -hmm. and also uh, in terms of your qualification yeah make it clear uh, that where have you graduated from and if you have graduated from uh, overseas university Mm -hmm. so did you completed the university program overseas or locally you know we have those like uh, twinning program like Mm. one year in Malaysia or two years in UK so specify whether you really completed it in UK or with twinning is all right you can specify it's a one plus two program or fully completed in Malaysia it's all right Um, I'm also curious to know like uh, if they're interested in a specific field but they don't have the expertise they just berminat lah they minat in let's say manufacturing in xyz but then they they just lack that particular skill can they they learn it on the job would, would is that something that's uh, top top love would be open to or i would say that yeah uh if you're referring to technical skills yeah technical skills 
yeah, if it's technical skills, then uh, they'll be able to, if, it, if it's the job that they are applying to is related to the field, let's say, for example, it's chemical engineering again. So then if it's related to what they are working, uh, they, are, they study, mm -hmm. then they are able to pick up the technical skills while they are on the job training. But if it's uh, soft skills, for example, it's um, interpersonal skills. So that would be based on, you know, um, a lot of feedbacks mm -hmm. that they get. So they have to be positive to accept the feedbacks mm -hmm. and they are able to improvise from there. So it depends on what kind of skills we're talking about. And again, you do have um, in-house training for specific skills or development skills for your talents that's inside your company, right? As and when it's, re it's required. Yes. Okay, we've got Anonymous here asking, since Top Glove has presence in all ASEAN countries, how do you evaluate employees to be sent to other countries? Hmm. Depends on your performance at work. Um, okay. Well, we all, I always say that to my team as well. If you are able to perform, then come and approach us. Then we are able to assess if your, uh, you know, if your skill sets match the job that opportunity in the other countries that we have. Then, you know, you always have the chance to be transferred over. All right. Somebody also asked um, if they are non-Malaysians but would like to take up a job in manufacturing. Uh, w what about the work permit and stuff? Is is that something that they have to? Um, absorb or will Top Glove also be able to sort of help with that? How, how does it work? In terms of the work permit? Yeah, work permit. Yeah. So I have to ask my team here. No worries. No worries. Um, again, just bear in mind that Andrea has just been uh, with Top Glove for two months. So there are some parts where she may need to clarify with the team just in case. But if you have any questions, again, please write it down over our chat rooms or our comment section and the team from Top Glove as well as Jobstreet Malaysia would be more than happy to assist and to give you all the answers from there, all right? Um, okay. Apart from that, yeah, Andrea, how has it been so far? I mean, two months, um, it must have been something, even though both of, from your previous job, both of them were in the human resource department. I mean, what was, what was something that you just had to adjust in terms of both corporate jobs because one is something on uh, was it on it's retail right uh, yeah. the, the other company was more on retail this is more on manufacturing per se but the job scope is still there you're still recruiting you're still looking still for the best talent and stuff yes. but any significant yeah. different or stark difference that you have from the two that you sort of needed to okay this is something new this is something that I have to you know work on well, um, the previous job I was in was a conglomerate, so it has a diversity of businesses. Right. So it has um, retail, it has manufacturing. So I was in a group, so it's pretty different when I was in a group, so because I was more strategic uh, in terms of my role. Right. But coming here, it's manufacturing focus, and it's really a lot of projects and a lot of things that is ongoing so it's a very dynamic environment and it's a very fast-paced environment so i just have to run from uh, <laughs> you know from 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 uh, from slow job to a marathon right now and i think i'm coping very well again thanks to my team so uh, you know without their support i don't think i'm able to adapt this quickly and i'm being put into this facebook live like just two months joining <laughs> and you're doing fantastic i must say just we've got another it. question andrea from nur hasniza how long is the processing period from submitting a resume to getting a call oh okay so that would be usually if it's quick it's around a week or two okay yeah yeah, that's quite excruciating la, for people yeah. who are, you know, really on the job hunt and they are dying to know if they're in or not. I mean, you know, that waiting game, it's its always a killer for me. I remember those days when you're just finding out, Dia nak ta, nak ni? is it me? You know, it's, it plays with the head. And that's, that's something else that I wanted to focus on because you mentioned about how you just had to accelerate your skills from being uh, a diversified of retail manufacturing. Now it's 
completely manufactured focus and then now you yeah. had to do Facebook Live like two months down the road, l- l- having to absorb all this. Whilst it's great because it gives you that challenge, that adrenaline rush, it also, um, you know, with the pandemic and stuff, it's also a strain to the mental being, your emotional being. And, and that's something mm-hmm. that we want to, I think from your point of view, where you want to ensure that you have to be resilient, but at the same time, take care of yourself, finding that balance, you know. And of course, Top Glove is all about wellness also, a holistic approach to your whole being. It's not just about work, 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 work. Yeah. Um, take me through about that, about take your, your journey on ensuring that you yourself has a healthy mental state of being, emotional state of being. It's not just about being physically strong, but mentally and emotionally too. What do you do uh, to unwind perhaps? Or um, I followed uh, the, our Tan Sri Lim's philosophy, five wells. So definitely clean well, um, eat well. Uh, thanks to my family, they, they, they cooked a balanced diet for me. So um, it's just at lunch, I have to eat nearby sometimes because it's really <laughs> rushing. <laughs> so with that, I'm able to work well. Uh, exercise, uh, I do some yoga uh, okay. here and there, but uh, usually I do it during weekend. And also I followed uh, some of the, the YouTuber for aerobics. So I, I ensure that, uh, you know, I, that's why I wear this. You know, ah, it's uh, like a fitness band or some fitness form. band. Okay. So each each exercise, how many calories can I burn? So I ensure that I'm able to, you know, and my fitness level, I maintain or I have increased fitness level. So that I track my, you know, my my fitness level, and sleep. Like I've sh- just shared, I I have to sleep eight hours. <laughs> That's, That's good. Very important for me. Although I still watch some a little bit drama at night. Korea drama. Well, as but long I, as it keeps yeah. you sane, I think that's important. Whatever makes you happy, yeah. do it. But yeah, yeah make because, sure you get your because good night sometimes rest. the mind, we have to relax our mind. So that's why I have to watch something to just to distress myself before good. I sleep. So I find it helpful to have uh, you know a good night's sleep. Wow, you've got so many questions here. I was just gonna go into my Ayo. rapid rapid fire. <laughs> um, can a chemical engineering degree holder apply for a job in HR recruitment team? Yes, you can. There you go. There you go. All right. Yes. Rusli asks, I see top glove jobs ad. Sorry, I see top glove job ad stated that it is required to have fluency in Mandarin. Is it compulsory? And if so, why? No, it's not compulsory. Usually okay. it is added advantage, but it's not compulsory that you need to speak of fluent Mandarin. And I guess at the end of the day, if you are multilinguistic, then it's, it's an added advantage, but it's not a necessary. Uh, and again, it's a skill that you can work on or you know learn during your free time. Now we've got YouTube, we've got all these um, uh, virtual classes that you can just take up in the event you want to improve. La, misal kata kan. Yeah. Wow, we've or, got... Uh-huh. Sorry to add into that, uh, yes. unless it is for particular posting in China. Okay. Oh, then that makes sense because you have to ma, nanti yeah. wapucita, wapucita, then ni pucetau lo. I don't even know if that even makes sense. All right, we've got one question here. What is the expectation of a recruiter towards interviewee during a virtual interview? Wow, okay, that's good. Is it the same as face-to-face interviewer? Oh, can I have that question again, please? So what is it? Because right now, some of your interviews are done virtually, right? Mm -hmm. So what is your expectation as yourself, as a recruiter towards the interviewee during a virtual interview? Is it going to be the same, like face-to-face? Because it's a little bit different when you do a virtual interview compared to a face-to-face interview. Oh, okay. Mm. So regardless of the method of uh, interview, whether it's uh, uh, virtual or face-to-face, okay. uh, you know, we, we will still assess you accordingly. Yeah, but, but if it's a virtual interview, some of the tips for you here is please ensure you have good internet connectivity. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, that's very important because if you talk halfway, ah, <laughs> lagging, so it, it's a little bit disruptive. Yeah, it is. so it, it is, yeah. That is so important. I, I thought oh, yeah, it was going to be... And one more skill. And yes. one more. Yes. Be confident. You have to be confident. Yeah, so that's a very important tip for them. Please be confident. 
I mean, in your your wealth of knowledge in recruiting people, uh, what mm-hmm. are some of the giveaways that you know ala orang ni tak boleh dah? I mean, do you can you sort of sense what makes or breaks that person just by looking at the person? So in the event that person can try and avoid lah, basically. <sighs> <laughs> okay. Um, some of the the the, the tips, yeah. Um, be positive. Uh, try to avoid sharing negative. You know why? You know, interviewers like to ask the question, "What's the reason for living?" So some of them may share, "Oh, not happy," or you know, things stuff like that. So try to avoid sharing negative, but something positive. Like I'm eager to gain more exposure in terms of a different skill sets, or you know. Something that you, uh, you know, bring yourself to the positive positive mindset, and definitely nice. you are able to attract the positive. And uh, as indicated in uh, a company motto, top love employees must learn, must do, and must teach. So if you find yourself to be goal oriented individual, e- eager to contribute your ideas and a team player when it comes to work. Please apply a job with us, and we'd we'll like to hear from you. I'm curious to know. Um, you know when they say expected salary, how many uh-huh. of them actually do you meet? Like when they say, "What is your expected salary for this job?" Out of your your you know your recruiting experience. How many do you actually say okay lah? I'll meet with this salary or mm. okay, I I tambah sikit. I don't know if tambah sikit lah or kurang sikit. How does that work and how do you negotiate? How would yeah, I be um, able to negotiate to you like okay, I'm coming in. I want to have a job in the communications department. My uh-huh. set 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 fee is about fifteen thousand, but you've only got a budget of maybe say twelve thousand, for instance. How uh-huh. then do I? The employee, potential employee. How do I then, you know, negotiate with you, or it's a clear cut like, cannot I cannot afford you already, lah? How does it work? That's a very tr- uh, tricky question. It really depends on the individual's experience mm. and also um, their performance during interview. Okay. It's very important to perform during interview. So even if you come in with you know 15 years of uh, experience in um, communications per se, but if during the interview um, you're unable to share uh, or, or express uh, themselves with clarity, it's a little bit difficult to negotiate. Comparing with an individual who has lesser years of experience, right. but who are able to you know confidently share. What they can value add to the company, so that's you know it really depends on that, yeah. And how many sessions do they have to go in for interviews and such? I mean, is there a, a process that they have uh, to go through? Yeah, usually around two interview or more. Okay, again, depending on the job scope or the uh, the role that you that is being offered. Seniority. Like. Yeah. All right. So, do we have any more questions uh, to from our team, from your side? Okay, let's have some fun now, Andrea. We're gonna have some okay. rapid fire questions, yes. and you cannot take too long to answer. Okay, it's just yeah, like quick rapid fire. Yes. Right? Uh, okay. All right. Work from home or office? Office. Wow. Why? Ah. Uh? <laughs> I thought a lot of people want to work from home. Or focus. Can focus more. Wow. I have a five years old and a three years old. Or I can hardly focus at home. So yes, saya office. faham. Saya faham. <laughs> okay, now I get it. I get you. All right. Question number two: Reusable mask or disposable mask? Disposable. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> interesting. Now, if you weren't in HR, what or where would you be, or what would you be doing? If you weren't communications, I want to be a presenter like you. Ha, boy! Wow, ah. there you go. <laughs> Sebenarnya boleh. Tadi kata nervous, nervous, tapi boleh je mana. Tapi yeah. mas still nervous lah. Nonsense, you. <laughs> All right. Once borders are open, where is your dream holiday? Hokkaido, Japan. Yeah, I'm gone. I was supposed to go yeah. skiing and then it closed. So yeah. <laughs> I want to bring my little two kids there. Uh, also, do you do you ski also, or you just oh. want to go there because you love? No, I I fall I fall oh, a lot when I ski. Yeah. 
So oh my god! Then my then my once the borders open, I got your number. I'll call you. We go skiing together, together. Then our anak can go play together. Ah, uh, you have so. to teach me. Ah, uh. I cannot ski. Yeah. I love skiing. That two batang yeah. too slippery for me. So what do you do? You just go there, just enjoy the snow, lah. Oh, or... I took out the batang and I hold it and I walk down. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Never mind, never mind. Saja, just pose for the gram. Pose for the gram. Yeah. <laughs> All right. One word. If there was one word to describe your current job right now, what would it be? Ah, uh, fast paced. Ooh, nice. Okay. Do you prefer recruitment or recruiting, or do you prefer mentoring? Mentoring. I think you're good at that too. Yes, you're very positive. <laughs> I like. I like your vibe. Oh, automation, yay or nay? Automation, yay or nay? A big yay, yes. Automation is very important, yes. Yeah. But at the same time, how? Because there's also some fear that then, oh, then we will lose our jobs, Aniquan and Han Chua. When there's a way, when there's a will, there's a way. You will definitely be able to find other jobs. No worries about it. <laughs> be positive, kan? God yeah. has his ways. I think so, yeah. and I believe. All right, you mentioned it earlier on, but I'm just going to ask you again, just in case you have a different answer. How do you unwind? Watch Korean drama. What's your best Korean drama now? I've I've yet gone to the K series Korean. What's this? Ah, uh, the Korean uh, trend lah. Everyone's watching it. I'm like, not yet, not yet. Because they said once you watch, you get hooked. Better don't. Uh, I very anti one lah. Uh. I'm watching the penthouse. <laughs> Why does the penthouse don't sound so anti one? Very anti, I tell you. Penthouse different, you know. My husband's smiling already. <laughs> oh, okay. Just before I go into more rapid fire, we've got a uh, drum rum here. Can a fifty year old join Top Glove? Yes. 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 The answer is yes. So you heard it from the head of recruitment from Top Glove herself. Ram, it's a yes. Okay, all right, Andrea. Let's continue back. What is the best advice that you've given or have heard from or were given? Like, what's the best advice that you've and you've lived by it? Mm, the best advice to yeah, I think quality mindset and also being hardworking. I think as long as you're hardworking, you're able to achieve what you want. That's true. As and, long as you uh, and yeah, and to elaborate on quality mindset is quality of work. So that's why I emphasize a lot of, about being detail meticulous with uh, details. So that's also very important to have a quality work. And I think that's why it's so important for one to have a holistic life because if you're just focused on work, but you're deteriorating in everything else, your health and everything, you're not so focused. You're not so present. And then you won't be giving your quality work, lah. You know, it's, it has to be a breakdown of all the other, you know, uh, loves of your life. Wow, still got questions coming in. Andrea, you know what? Of all the dialogues that I've had uh, with Job Street Malaysia so far, yours paling rancha, I tell you. Yeah, good. Um, oh, interesting. What is more important on the resume? Academic qualification or extracurricular achievements? I won't say what, which one or whichever is more important. It's having a balance of each. So whether you have extracurricular, of course, it's good. It's, it's, it is good to have extracurricular academics mm. also. Right. It has to be a balance. Okay. All right. Now, last question for you on my rapid fire. What new skill did you learn during the lockdown, if any? Mine was cooking. Not really. Cooking was my husband. <laughs> I had to lah. My husband's like, can't you do? Can't you just you know cook? I'm tired of cooking. I think aerobics because I was doing a lot of uh, fitness at home. So aerobics. So I was doing all the you know all the movements and a lot of them, a lot of aerobics at home. So that's why I was able to, you know, lose some weight during the lockdown. Yeah, you look fantastic. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, it was during the lockdown that you actually lost weight or you've always been lean but then you became fitter and toner during the lockdown? During 1.0, I gained 4kg. During oh. uh, the later... 
<laughs> during the later stage, I'm able to lose it back. So, yeah. Oh, it's quite a balance. You're really balanced. Huh? You hear there, everything balanced back. Moderation. <laughs> Memang, you are very balanced in that sense. All right. And any last words for our audience who are watching right now? Um, okay. Uh, I would like to share with the audience that uh, top love values candidate who are dynamic, vibrant, quality-minded, hardworking, adaptable, and curious. And as indicated by our company motto, top glove employee must learn, must do, must teach. <laughs> so if you find yourself a goal-oriented individual, you know, and have those, uh, those values that I've just shared, come and apply a job with us. All right, well said. Well, congratulations, Andrea. You have just done your first Facebook Live as Head of Recruitment oh, for Top Glove Malaysia. You. And I'm so glad that I did it with you. And thank you did you. fantastic. Nila, Master of Communication, Swinburne Technology University. Yeah, that's why, lah. Terra Mera. All right, let's give her a big round of applause. Can we get some applause from the DJ here? Thank you once again. And if you'd like to find out about the current job opportunities with Top Glove, you can head down to Job Street page as well as Top Glove's career page. And if you don't already have a Job Street profile, be sure to create one now as many employers are actively hiring, including Top Glove. They have berapa lagi tu? Sembilan ribu, Andrea. Sembilan yeah. ribu openings, yeah, to dear, and we've got like a diverse um, jobs of or roles that are open for everyone, including internship as well as management associates. So, thank you, terima kasih, Andrea, once again. Thank you for your team, thank who's you. I know are around you right now. So, terima kasih banyak banyak, and thank you once again to Job Street Malaysia. I'm gonna say good night to you. I know you have to go home to your five year old and three year old, <laughs> and please go and enjoy that Korean movie. I'm gonna go check out Penthouse. Yes, I'm telling please. you, it doesn't sound very anti. That's all I'm saying right now, but it does not sound very anti. Thank you once again, Andrea. You stay Thank safe, you. and I hope to bye see bye. you in Hokkaido one day. We'll go skiing, or we just hold the ski batang, one for the gram. Okay, aunts? Okay, bye bye. Aunt. Take care. Mwah, mwah, bye bye. bye. All right, well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Andrea Chiam. She is the head of recruitment for Top. Glove Malaysia and we have nine well she tiba tiba we <laughs> we we have nine thousand job openings for uh with top gloves. So if you're interested again head down over to their career page or on Job Street and apply for a profile if you haven't done so already. I do hope that all of you who have watched this session and keen on applying for a job, all those questions that came in, terima kasih banyak banyak. Uh, I do hope that your synergy will fit like a glove. See it? Got that? Ah, you see the little punchline there? It's been a wow. pleasure hosting another dialogue with our partners, Job Street Malaysia, as well as having Andrea on board to talk more about the job opportunities with Top Love. Till the next one, my name is Daphne Aiken. We've got Andrea Cham still online and we are signing off alive at home. Bye! Bye bye! <laughs>